Hey guys, it's Amy and welcome to another episode of The Sims. Now I'm pretty sure these girlies got to bed really late last night which is really naughty because Sunday needs to get up and go to work in like four hours so I think she's a bit stinky as well. I see some green mist. <laughs> That's totally not cute and Amy doesn't look too happy sleeping does she? Amy cheer up petal cheer up. Anyway I should probably wake up Sunday um, really soon just so she can at least have a shower. Um, yeah we need to get her showered because she really is a little stinky. In fact we've got to get her up now. Come on Sunday have a shower. Come on up you get. That's it. That's it. Oh she is filthy look at her look how gross she is <laughs> sunday that is so gross i'm gonna take a screenshot so you can remember this for the rest of your life look at you sunday it's not acceptable behavior go wash go and wash um amy has a day off um oh poor sunday get better sunday yeah so amy has a day off so we're gonna work on some special stuff today um alice Spencer, who even are you? No, go away. I got no time for you. Um, let's use the bathroom. Oh, Sunday is really upset. She's having the longest shower I've ever seen anyone shower in my entire existence. Come on, Sunday. You've got to go to work, dude. Come on, go for a pee. And I can't let you eat. I'm sorry, you're going to have to eat at work. Goodbye, Sunday. Goodbye. And Amy. Oh, she's happy now. That's good. Amy, good morning, Petal. Oh, I know. You need to, you need to pee. Okay, go pee. Quick, go pink. She's gonna walk funny. She <laughs> I love it when they walk so weird. Have a pee. Have a oh, she's inspired whilst peeing. I like that about people. What's this? This is stinky. Let's empty that out. And then let's have um, brunch. Let's have some um, French toast. That sounds pretty good. And then we're gonna invite Josh over if he's not working. And we're gonna try to invite Josh to live with us, which sounds super exciting. Um, but we should probably clean up because he probably wouldn't want to live in his house because it's super super gross. Um, so yeah, if he agrees to live with us then we need to extend the house a little bit, um, which sounds super fun. What? Dude, have you eaten? What have you- Dude, you are so ADD! She is so real life me. Can you carry on cooking? Please, go for it. Why? Why? No, darling. I need you to eat food and clear up because Josh will not want to live here. Dude, can you just clean up and eat? something that's it and then I want you to resume the French toast maybe she doesn't want to eat the French toast something's not letting her like cook it and I don't know why maybe she's just she she is hungry um let's clean this clean that good job good job good job good job right now can you resume the French toast is she doing it? Alright, now she's doing it. Okay, there wasn't enough room or it's filthy. Whatever, I get it. Right, so now, whilst you're eating that, let's see if we can get Josh to come over if he's not working. There he is. <gasps> they love each other. Come over and visit Josh. <laughs> I'm so excited. What if he says no? It's going to be so bad. It's not going to be cool. Um, Where is he? Josh! That's not Josh, that's old person. Josh? Oh, he's at the door. <laughs> Amy, invite the guy in! <laughs> Stop talking to him through the door. Um, let's um, kiss cheek. That sounds quite cute. Ah! I'm sorry I keep pausing it. I'm sorry, like, like not missing these moments. Ah! Love. That's so cute. He doesn't look entirely happy. He's talking about cars. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's brighten his day. I think Sunday's home. What is Sunday? Sunday's feeling tense. She needs a break. Let's have her playing some games or something. Or painting. Painting is her, like, ideal thing to do in life. There we go. Good job. Um, oh, no, she just wants to nap. All right. Okay, I'll leave you to nap. Um, right, so Amy and Josh, let's get you to... Ah! <laughs> let's get you to... Um, whoa, 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 stay down time. We want... Um, now they're talking. They're feeling flirty. Let's have a look what we could do. Express fondness. Oh, that just sounds darling, doesn't it? I'm very fond of you, Josh. Are you doing it? I don't know. It went away. All right. No, okay. Let's do um, romance. Um, ask on a date. Blow a kiss. We want move in. Is it on here yet? Propose. We could propose. Ah, oh, there's no moving in thingy unless it's under. Um, let's have a look. Here it is. We got it. Ask to move in. Should we try it? Let's do it. Hey, Josh. You want to move in? I'm scared. I'm really scared. You want to move in? 
Come live with us. He's laughing. Oh. Is that a good thing or bad thing? Yes! <laughs> oh wow! This is awesome! Click OK to get a household split and merge to modify which sims will live in which households. See, what I'm a little bit worried about is I don't want to leave Max behind, so I kind of want to bring Max with us. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, we can! We can bring Max with us! That's great! Alright, come over to the side. Um, you're with us, and you're with us. We really need to extend the house. Um, if all the sims are transferred out of this household, all of the household's belongings will be sold or transferred to the new household. Should we sell everything? Sell all lot, and then we can buy like brand new stuff. I think that's great. Okay, let's go back into uh, my house and extend. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh wow, look, I can now be Josh and Max. How cool is that? That's so exciting. <laughs> Sunday is tense. She's gonna get a little bit more uh, tense when she realizes um, that we've got two new housemates. Okay, so we need to build two more bedrooms because Amy and Josh need a bedroom. Josh needs to go to work. Josh, stop talking to Amy. Go to work. Go on. It's work time. I'll make the house nice for you. Josh, go to work. Go to work. Go to work. Go on. Go to work. Good job. Go to work. Love set. Right, so yeah, we need to build a couple more bedrooms. So let's go ahead and try and do that. I've never really built anything properly in The Sims, so I do not know. Um, we need some uh, walls. Let's do that. Okay, so I've made two extra bedrooms. So there'll be one for uh, me and Josh, and one for Sunday, and one for Max. So what we need to do now is decorate these rooms to make them look super cute. And I know for a fact that Josh, of course, I always talk about Josh, he's my bae, is already into music and like rock and roll and goth stuff and like all kind of stuff I like. So we're gonna kind of decorate it to be very much musical, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if we can put the word music in, I don't know if we'll bring up anything cool. Uh, we've got like guitars and stuff, we need to get him a piano. <gasps> I wanna buy him that, oh my goodness that's so cute, I need to unlock it though. Um, oh, he got one of these, by the way. Josh won one of these awards, just saying. It's really magical. Uh, so, I guess we need some carpet, I guess. So, let's have a look for carpet. Um, wow, okay, so we need to <laughs> be looking at um, different room things. We need to... How do you buy carpet again? I've done it before. Um, walls and empty rooms. No, we want carpet. Wall pattern. Oh, let's do wall patterns first. Um, Alright, so... What screams me and Josh? Oh, ghosties, maybe? Spooktacular? Oh, you know what? This screams uh, Sunday. Uh, so let's give that to Sunday. Now, do you think Sunday want to stay in her original room or be moved over here? Hmm, I think... Let's give her a brand new room. Um, let's decorate this room as Sunday's room. There we go. Uh, Sunday, Sunday. I love it. Sunday, Sunday's room. There we go. Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> I know it's a quick way of doing it, but I can't remember how, so don't kill me in the comments. This is just the way I want to do it. Alright, so that's Sunday's room. So what do we want for me and Josh? That's the question. Um, we don't want tiles. We don't want stone. Uh, that's all for the outside. Um, oh, and we need uh, Max's room. Now Max kind of reminds me of a kid, so I guess we want like some kind of kitty wallpaper for him. Because he's very funny and he's crazy. Um, I'm kind of thinking ghosts, you know what I mean? I think I have to hold down shift, right? Eh? No, okay. Shift, there we go. Do you reckon ghosts are good? Or do we want these ghosts? Oh wait, no, this ghost. Let's have a look. They've got different colours. <gasps> That's kind of cool. I like it. Let's do that. Ghosts. Alright, and then um, for Max, we want... Actually, you know what? Yellow would be quite good for Max because he's very bright and colourful. So let's go ahead and give this to Max. There we go. Perfect! Redecorating! I love it so much. Okay, so how do we get uh, the carpets then? Carpet, where are you? Okay, so we've got some carpet. Uh, I kind of would probably like this in like a darker colour. Does that look good? No, that doesn't look good. That kind of clashes, just saying. Um, what else we've got? Maybe we could use some of these tiles. Um, let's have a look. Uh, click on this one. Looks like a bathroom though, we don't even want bathroom tiles, do we? Uh, maybe like wood would be quite good? Oh, that was pretty neat, that was like gothic -y. Where'd it go? This. Um, no, I don't like that. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, this is, this is Sunday. That's totally a Sunday kind of carpet. Loves it. I just want kind of like plain black. Where can I get plain black from? Uh, this is metal. No, we don't want metal. Um, ooh. That's it. 
that's for us. <laughs> look at our little gothic rooms. And then Max is gonna have like a kid's room because he's so funny. Let's see if this looks cute. Uh, no, I can't do that for Max. He needs something a little bit more grown up. Um, let's, he's got a yellow wallpaper. So I think he's gonna need, what would go good with yellow? Maybe like a blue would look quite good. And uh, let's see if that's like a blue color. Okay, that is totally max. There we go. Okay, so everyone's got um, nice colored like bedrooms and stuff. So now we can do the fun stuff and actually like um, put some beds and stuff in here. So let's find a bed. Uh, beds! Bed. Let's look for beds. Um, what kind of beds do we have? Oh, this is nice, but we haven't got that yet. Um, this is quite cute. Soothing sleeper. All right, so we're going to put this in Amy and Josh's room. That looks cool. And then let's, oh actually this is quite nice as well. I kind of like this one better. Let's, um, Sunday you can have a, a nice big bed. Let's sell that. Wow, I lost a lot of money on that. <laughs> Just saying. Um, let's put that in here as well. Then we can sell these beds. Um, let's get rid of all these. And let's get one of these for Max as well. Um, spin me right round. There we go, love set. All right, cool. So, so far, the bedrooms are looking pretty sweet, aren't they? They're looking really, really cool. Uh, what I think we do need are some really fun things. So maybe like some posters. So let's go and have a look at some posters. Okay, so we've done a little bit of redecorating, as you can see. It's actually looking pretty cool. I think Sunday's room is my favorite. It's ever so gothic and stuff. Um, Max's room, I still need to work on. I've put in like a little clown poster up because, you know, he loves his comedy. And a mirror so we can practice all his jokes. Actually, what we do need to buy for Max uh, for definite is a microphone so he can practice his jokes and stuff. Uh, microphone. Microphone. Uh, this thing. Uh, let's change. Actually, no, yellow is good. Yellow is good color. Uh, I don't want this anymore. Let's sell that. And let's put this um, about. Uh, is that good? Can you get in there? I don't know. Uh, we could try it. I don't know if we can actually get near that though, you know what I mean? Sims are weird. Um, so that's cool. I've got a guitar here and a guitar in uh, Amy and uh, Josh's room. And I've also bought some fishies! This little cute fish tank. So everything is kind of looking really good. Um, so it's kind of crazy that I'm now um, in control of four different characters. It's going to be an absolute nightmare. Um, so I know Sunday is feeling very tense. Uh, she has no energy. Is she working tomorrow? She's working in two days, so she can actually stay up for quite a while um, and just kind of, you know, kind of get on with it and stuff. I don't know what I'm trying to say, you know what I mean. Let's have um, some chili. Why don't we serve some chili for everybody so we can all have a nice dinner together? And Josh is at work and Max is hanging out here. Why don't you purchase some Captain Fishbones uh, fishies, or are you stuck? Can you do it? Did you do it? Ah! Do we have fishies now? I can't see them. Oh, okay. I think they're like, like skeleton fish. Okay, I think he's now going to work. So he's good. Go to work. Okay, so I think the guys actually work at night time, which is really cool. Amy, you are working tomorrow, my little sweet cherub. Um, so I think what we need to do is we need to eat and have an early night, and we need to see what kind of skills the boys need to succeed at their job because the girls are actually doing pretty good but the boys might need a little hand so those two are getting on just fine let's get them being bffs bffs let's reveal a deep secret i don't know what kind of secret that will be but let's reveal it anyway i'm revealing secrets to you she's feeling so uncomfortable for sunday it's because you were stinky have a hug Ah, oh, no, <laughs> maybe not. Uh, she's feeling a little happier. Do you want to have a little paint, my darling? Why don't you do some painting? That'll make you happy. And Amy, um, oh, okay, hugs, hugs, hugs. Loves it a lot. Huggle, huggle, huggles. Amy, why don't you, like, practice a speech or something? Um, that'd be really cool. So these girls are working on the skill points. As soon as they get tired, we'll put them to bed. Look how cool Sunday's room is. It's all totally gothic and adorable. I love it. It's really sweet. Look at these like little lights we bought. Uh, you can't really see them. These like little skeleton lights and stuff. That's cute. So Josh is now home. So let's go into Josh. He's feeling a little tense as well. Um, why don't you grab a serving of the chili? Nom 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 nom. Eat it Josh. <laughs> Wicked. Uh, Sunday has gone to bed in Max's room. That's not your room anymore sweetie. I've given you a better room. Can you sleep in this one for me? Can you do it? There you go. You've got a nice sleep ahead of you. Amy why don't you go see if Josh is okay. Hey Josh. 
How you doing? Why don't you brighten his day and make sure he's okay? Uh, stop talking to yourself now. There's no need to talk to yourself. Um, there we go. Have a nice conversation together. Hopefully Josh will feel a little bit better. Um, he's taken out the trash. <laughs> Is he a clean freak? Did we make a mistake? I don't know. Amy needs to pee. Go pee. Go pee, Amy. Go pee. Let's be Josh. 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 Why don't you um, not walk in? Oh, Amy! <laughs> That's not cool. Your boyfriend's just moved in and you've done a stinky poop. You better clean that super quick. Clean it! You don't want Josh to see that. That's so gross. Josh is an actual clean freak. I like that. Um, okay, so mop the floor. Loves it. And then, Amy, you really need to go to sleep, okay? Um, so Josh, why don't you two just like talk to each other because you haven't like talked like all day already. <laughs> loves it, loves it, loves it. Ah, he's still feeling a little tent. Try for a baby. <gasps> I'm not quite ready for babies just yet. Um, why don't we propose? Ooh, why don't you give him a kiss? See if he wants a kiss today. Give him a kiss. Will that make him feel better? Oh, that's hot. They're loving it. That's cute. All right, guys. Well, it's time for you girls. Girls, sorry, bad, bad. I'm. So, I cannot even. I think you need to go to sleep, and Josh, you should probably go to sleep as well. Um, and then the next day we'll start. So come on, you two, go to sleep. Sleepy bye's. Good night. Ah, everyone's asleep. I'm so excited that the whole house, like, we have like new people. We do need to work on the outsides of the building because, um, as you'll see in a second. It doesn't quite match up, does it? So we need to kind of fix that up. Um, but other than that, everything is pretty good. I don't think they're going to be living in this house for like huge amount of time. We're going to like move out at some point and get a bigger house. But that's probably just Josh and Amy when they're ready for children and marriage and all that kind of scary stuff. Um, Amy's working in three hours. Holy many. Wake up, Petal. Wake up. Have a shower. <laughs> you didn't get to like have a proper sleep. I'm so sorry. Uh, Sunday is also awake. How are you doing, Sunday? You need to use the bathroom. Okay, okay, just hold on. Just hold on. Don't pee. Don't pee yourself. Don't pee. That's it. Okay. That's it. Almost. There you go. Right, now you can use that and take a shower. Amy, sweetie, you're just so. You're embarrassed? Oh, because Sunday walked in on you. It's okay, darling. Don't worry. Can do you have time to serve breakfast? Serve some pancake? Oh, no. Okay. I guess not then. Uh, we're going to join Amy this time because I want to get her promoted. I have been working off camera and she is promoted to a nurse now, which is really, really good. Okay, so here we are at work. So we I've been learning actually how to do this a lot better than I have been before. Um, so I say that and then I do it wrong. Um, so I'm hoping we can get promoted again. I'm not really sure if we will because our performance is quite average, but we're going to try it anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, check these um, ears of this patient. There we go, we've done that. We also need to swab you for a sample, so please let me swab you. There we go, perfect. We want to also take the temperature. I think I'm really, really hungry. Um, so let's take the temperature. Perfect. And then we want to probably analyze, yeah, new air, new analyzer would be there. Analyze the patient's sample. So let's go ahead and do that. We need to analyze that sample and hopefully make a diagnosis. If we read up here, it will say things. Amy must test it in the chemical analyzer machine to get data for help with her diagnosis. Um, okay, so that's cool, doing that. That's good. All right, now what can we do? We can perform a treadmill test. So let's, uh, we want to medical refer uh, for a treadmill. There we go. Perfect, come on, Petal. That's it, so this lady's gonna run on the treadmill. And then we're gonna do loads of this stuff and then hopefully we can like have a look and see what the problem is and diagnose and treat her. So we've done that, okay, awesome. And then analyze complete. Testing of the patient sample, blah, blah, blah. Amy's confused by the questionable data and we'll need to run further examinations. Okay, so next thing we can do is, uh, well, we're running tests, which is good. We need to check your eyeballs. So why don't you go back to the bed? Perfect, Amy, I think needs she needs something. I think she needs a snack. So let's just buy her um, a pastry real quick. Um, go ahead and do that. Eat that really quick. We haven't got a lot of time, Amy. Hurry up and eat. Memes. Memes for days. Nom, 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 nom. Perfect. Okay, so while she's eating that, you can then go on over to this lady again and examine her and check her eyeballs. So go ahead and do that, Amy. Um, you've probably had enough food for now. 
Uh, so let's go and do that. Perfect. So we have a weak diagnosis available. I can diagnose her um, at exam bed or run tests. I think we should try and diagnose her. Oh, we've got a lot. Okay, maybe not. What does she look like she has? <laughs> I don't know. What does she have? Um, hmm. We could try and diagnose her. We have four things. It's either, well, three things. Starry eyes, bloaty head, or llama flu. Let's look at her eyes. Her eyes look quite normal. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with her. What do you guys think? Um, can we discuss general health with her? Um, treat patient. We seriously cannot treat patient yet. So let's just discuss general health, see if we can get an answer out of her. Um, do we have anything? No, okay. <laughs> That's not good. Did we scan her body? I don't think we did that. So let's scan her body. Awesome. So we've done that. Um, do we have any idea of what anything could be? Scan a patient in the x-ray machine. Okay, so what we can do is examine you. Um, no, we don't. We medical refer you to the x-ray machine. So let's go and do that. Uh, we'll put you in the x-ray machine and hopefully they'll give us some more answers. Okay, so we have... The x-ray scan are inconclusive. That's not good. Okay, I think all we can do is just go ahead and try to diagnose this patient. So I think we're going to go with um, llama flu. That's what we're going with. We're going with the flu. Let's see if it works. I'm feeling flirty. <laughs> Please don't flirt the patients. Okay, awesome. I've diagnosed her and now need to treat her. Um, so how can I treat patient with a flu vaccination? She's not happy, but um, yeah, <laughs> I hope I haven't hurt her. Okay, let's uh, move on to this patient. A compelling diagnosis. Itchy plum bob. What's an itchy plum bob? I don't know. Um, let's do a few tests on this lady. Uh, wait a minute, something came up there and I don't know what it was. Examine patient! Let's swab you for a sample. Can you kill anybody on here? I hope not. Amy fumbled while trying to get the tissue. She'll need to try again with more care and less hygiene hazards to get a good patient sample. All right. All right, so uh, don't do anything there. Let's do that again. Uh, look, she's spotty. Sweaty shivers. Ooh. Itchy. She's itchy. She's itchy. You're itchy? You're itchy! I think that... Wow, surgery. I don't know. Uh, I don't really want to give her surgery. Now that Amy is diagnosed Trisha's malady, they can proceed with a treatment operation. Oh, criminy. I'm a little bit scared of that. I hope that we are completely correct. I really hope we're not going to hurt her. Okay, I'm performing surgery. What's happened with life? I don't want to perform surgery. I don't feel I'm ready. But I guess we're doing it. Please don't hurt the lady. Please don't kill her. Please. I don't feel I should. I think I made the wrong diagnosis. Amy, stop feeling playful when you're like doing. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> oh, please live. Please. This is so. Oh, what's happening? I don't want to watch this. <laughs> this is not nice. Oh, please live. I beg of you to live. I just took your heart out or something. I don't know what's happening. Please be okay, lady. I'll never forgive myself. She doesn't look well. She doesn't look well. Amy. Amy, are you okay? She's she's okay. She does not look okay. <laughs> I don't want you to go home. Uh, let's let's introduce ourselves after operating. Um, she doesn't look too good, this lady. Uh, but I'm hoping that she's gonna be okay. I feel really terrible. I really hope she's okay. Uh, maybe I need to examine more patients <laughs> before um, you know, doing anything else. Okay. Uh, let's not introduce herself. I think she's gone home, which is fine. Uh, I still haven't successfully diagnosed and treated two patients, so I'm guessing my diagnosis is rather wrong. Um, let's, uh, let's do your temperature. Test your temperature. Love set. I'm getting tired, which is fantastic. Uh, what else do we need to do? Swab you for a sample. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Swab you for a sample. Done that. Um, and check your ears while I can. Um, let's do that. Examine patient, check ears. Diary. Perfect. And then let's go on over here and analyze your sample. There we go. Perfect. Let's do that. Oh, I need to stay. I want to stay late. I need to, I need to do this. I want to at least like successfully diagnose at least one patient today. Okay. Um, 
Now Amy must test it in the chemical analyzer machine. I've done that. Uh, check eyeballs. I've already checked your eyeballs, haven't I? Yeah, I have. So I need to diagnose you, my darling. What can I diagnose you with? Um, compelling diagnosis. Sweaty shivers or llama flu. Um, he looks really angry at life. He looks really angry. What do you think it is? Um, let's see. Amy's confused by the questionable data and we'll need to run further examination for a clear diagnosis. Okay, so what can I do then? Can I medical refer you to an x-ray? Let's do that. Don't know if I need you, but I'm going to try it anyway. Okay, x-ray is complete. <laughs> Looks like both Amy and the patient are very, very tired. Um, there's the same thing else. Um, no. What's happening? He wants medication. He really is poorly. What? What's my face doing? Uh, guaranteed diagnosis. All right, sweaty shivers. We can do it. You have sweaty shivers. And then we need to give you, um, 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 we need to treat you with sweaty shivers. Is this it? Did I do it? I did it! Yay! I successfully did it! Look, it even says that in the bottom. So I need to do that again in order to get promoted. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, I've got like hardly any time left. I don't think I'm going to get another diagnosis, but I could maybe just try. Uh, let's check your, actually no, we're going to check your um, eyeballs. May I check your eyeballs? Check eyes. There we go. Okay. I'm getting really, really tired. So sleepy, I cannot even. And then we want to uh, swab you for a sampler. Swab you for a sampler. Sampler! Am I doing it? Am I doing it? Am I doing it? No, okay, I've given up. Alright, well, that's fine, because I'm not going to get promoted, I highly doubt. Um, and I'm getting very uncomfortable. I need to eat. I need to kind of go home. Um, so yeah, I didn't get promoted, but that's okay. I didn't think I would. But I need to um, diagnose and treat one more patient completely, and then I will, which is awesome. So we are finally back home. Amy is not feeling too good. Sunday is just like dancing on and the boys must be at work. So why don't we serve some dinner, sweetie? Why don't you serve a nice salad? Don't go to bed yet. We need you to stay awake. Uh, you're working again in two days, actually, so you're pretty okay. Sunday, do you need any skill points um, for you to get promoted? You're working in 15 hours. So why don't we uh, sell this painting um, and you're going to need to do another one. Uh, let's do a classic, let's do a large classic painting and then your uh, daily task will then be done. Amy, what are you doing sweetie? Do you want to clean this up? What? Josh hopes to make some extra cash on the side by teaching piano to neighbourhood kids but his very first student spills soda all over the piano keys. He can tell the little barbarian to come back next week once it's fixed or charge the mother for cleaning and repair. Let's just prepare, uh, postpone, postpone the lesson. Um, was that a good thing? I don't know. Oh, Amy! <laughs> Amy, you poor little chicken! Alright, Amy, sweetie, go, go, go for pee. Oh no, you're not Amy, you're Sunday. Amy! Alright, you're asleep. She's gonna wake up and she's gonna need to pee. There's someone fishing outside my house again! And Josh is not home. Amy, don't pee yourself! Please do not pee oneself! Please do not! Go use the lavatory. Go, Amy, quick! Quick! Good job. Um, and then let's get back into bed. Um, come on. Good job. Sunday is talking to strangers. Fantastic Sunday. There we go. Loves it. <laughs> well, it's been quite an eventful episode. We had the boys move in. Uh, Sunday was stinky. Um, I may have killed someone in the examination room almost. Uh, it's been pretty cool. But now it's time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you same time, same place next week. <laughs> Love you much, you guys. Goodbye.